Good morning, my dearest students. For today's video, we will continue finding for the population variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. Previously, we got the mean using the same problem, and this time, we will find for the population variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. Before we start, please consider yourself subscribed for more math tutorial. So let's start. So to find for the variance, we first subtract the xm minus the x bar, where xm is the midpoint and the x bar is your mean. So let us put the equal sign. Since we will subtract, open parenthesis, then click the first value of the xm minus the x bar, close parenthesis, and hit enter. Then after that, you can just simply drag it down. And there you go. You already have the difference or the deviation between the xm and the x bar. So this time, we will square the value of this column, the xm minus the x bar. And how? Equal sign, click this, and shift caret, then 2, then enter. So we have 121, which is negative 11 times negative 11. And simply drag it down, and we got all the squares of the deviation. And for the last column, we need to multiply the frequency and this column. So how do we do that? Equal sign, click the first value of the frequency, and multiply. That is the asterisk times this column and hit enter. So 484 is the product of 4 times 121. And to find the rest, just drag it down. And there you go. So before we find for the variance, we need to find for the total of this. So that is equal. Then sum, parentheses, click the first value, colon, and the last value, close parentheses and add. So we have 1,630. So let us find the variance and the formula says this is the summation of f x m minus x bar squared divided by n. So since this is division, equal sign, click the sum, divide, and n is 50 and hit enter. So we have 32.60, which is the value of your variance. So let us go to the standard deviation. The standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So that is equal sign, then square root. So square root symbol is SQRT of what? Of the variance and hit enter. So we have 5.71. And for the last... For the coefficient of variation, as you can see, that is standard deviation divided by the mean. So standard deviation is 5.71 and the mean is 39. So this is equal sign. The numerator is 5.71. Divide by the mean, which is 39, and hit enter. So we have 0 0.14 and so on. If you want to change the color to white, that is fine. And if you want to decrease the decimal number into two decimal places, just hit this one. So we have 0.15 and it's rounded off already. So here you go. This is how you find for the population variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation using Excel. So if you appreciate this video tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and share this video for those who need it and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for more math tutorials. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless you all. Bye!